Good evening. It is my pleasure to introduce the next speaker. This young lady has one of the most impressive resumes that I've ever seen for a high school senior in my 17 years of education. She's president of the Beta Club, vice president of the National Honor Society, captain of the cross country team and the soccer teams. She's a member of the Key Club, Wind Ensemble, Jazz Band, Granbury United Methodist Church. She attended the Jackson River Governor School and participated in a host of conferences throughout her career here at AHS. Her long list of volunteer work, which ranges from being a Girl Scout camp leader to making blankets for the patients at the Children's Hospital of Richmond, shows her kind heart, her sweet disposition. AHS will miss this young lady's glowing smile an optimistic personality in the hallways. Please welcome your 2018 valedictorian, Margaret Rose Donnan. Good evening, and welcome friends, family, faculty, and most importantly, the Allegheny High School class of 2018. It is an honor to speak to you all on this special day. In preparation for this speech, I thought it would be a good idea to get some thoughts and advice from a very knowledgeable group of people, kindergartners. I asked them versions of two questions that I, and I am sure many of my fellow graduates, have been asked countless times over the past few weeks. Through my first question to the kindergartners, what do you want to be when you grow up? I met six future teachers. One student specifically said that she wanted to be a space teacher. Three future veterinarians, two future police officers, two future nurses, and an abundance of others, ranging from a future basketball player to a future alligator hunter. My second question was, what do high school students, specifically seniors, do? The first responses from the kindergartners were that we read books and write a lot. It is hard to believe that 13 years ago, we were these kindergartners, learning the alphabet and hearing stories from our teachers. Now, we are the ones writing these stories, and our class includes a group of published authors. The kindergartners also said that we play sports and play music. Our class has many hardworking and talented athletes and musicians with an impressive list of both group and individual accomplishments. We also have many successful club members, forensics team champions, and academic team whizzes whose time and talents have strengthened both our class and our school community. All of these achievements, especially the big one that we are here to celebrate today, would not have been possible without the support and guidance of our parents, teachers, coaches, family members, and friends. Graduates, please join me in giving these, all of these people a round of applause. Thank you for all that you have done for us. My personal achievements and journey through life and school would not have been possible without so many wonderful people. I would like to start by thanking my favorite teachers for inspiring my love of learning and my coaches for their dedication and encouragement. Thank you to my teammates on both the cross country and soccer teams for many seasons filled with lots of fun and laughter. Thank you to all of the band program for adding the joy of music to the end of my school days. Thank you to my church family for making sure that my week starts with friendly, smiling faces. And thank you to my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins, many of whom are in the audience today, for a lifetime of love and support. Thank you to all my friends from Evansville, Indiana, to Covington, Virginia, to Winston-Salem, North Carolina, for enriching so many moments of my life. Kelly, Craya, Michaela, and Madison, thank you for making every day of high school better. From lots of movies to lots of classwork, we have shared every part of high school together, and I cannot imagine what I would do without you guys. Thank you to my brother, who makes sure that my life is never dull through his intellect, sense of justice, and comedic nature. Thank you to my sister, who inspires me on a daily basis through her creativity and compassion. And last, but definitely not least, thank you to my parents, to borrow the words of Rory Gilmore, 
These two people are my twin pillars of strength, without whom I could not stand. They have provided me with so many opportunities, unconditional love, and their seemingly limitless knowledge. Thank you for teaching me through your actions the values of, kind, of hard work and kindness. I love you both very much. Our freshman year of high school, Disney's live action version of the classic story of Cinderella's was released in theaters. If you have not seen it, you absolutely should. <laughs> I, a lifelong fan of princesses, particularly Cinderella, loved the whole movie, especially the advice that Cinderella's mother shares with her. Have courage and be kind. Courage and kindness, two values that I, and so many of my teachers, mentors, family members, and fellow graduates strive to keep at the center of our daily lives. Though we are still working every day to put these principles into practice. As I look at the kinds of issues, such as globalization and technological innovation, that our generation will face, I see ethical implications that will require courage and kindness to seek and stand up for what is right. So down whatever path life takes us, whether it's to a space teacher or an alligator hunter, I hope that we will continue to work hard, have courage, and most importantly, be kind. Congratulations, class of 2018. I cannot wait to see all of the wonderful things we do in the future. Thank you.